Ah, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, K Scott, back at you, aka Blading on the Brain. It's been forever, and I apologize. Trust me, I want to make more content. In fact, I want to grow this channel. I want to see more subscribers. I want to see more people engaging. I want to see more conversation about safety, rollerblading, technology, do some video recaps, watch some videos with you all, do more unboxings, reviews, and I just want to do all these things. I do, but I haven't had the time. Life has been exactly what it often is, and it's been hectic. Uh, a lot happened since May of last year. I lost my job, family challenges, all kinds of things, which have led me to be just on point, working, 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 and not a lot of time to give back to you all, my awesome subscribers. Ooh, what's my hair doing? There we go. My awesome subscribers who follow me on YouTube, follow on IG, get engaged in conversations. When we chat in the DMs, I appreciate you all. Man, I just got to get better. I got to find more time. I got to do more. I got to get better at getting in front of here and, and providing you with the content that I know you've been asking for because legit, thank you to all those who have asked, what's up, what's good, what you going to do next? But I've been waiting for today for a long time and it happened at like 12 that this package dropped on my doorstep and legit, I have to just open this now. I have waited all day. It has been literally all day that this thing has been sitting here and I can't lie, I, I haven't looked in the box but I definitely opened it up real quick and was like, oh my God, it's official, it's here. So, whether you're joining me live, I see somebody joining me live, what's up, what's up? If you're joining me live, if you're joining me after, it's all good, let me know what's up. I wanna know what you think about what we gonna drop into today. But before I do, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, holla at your boy in the comments. But first, I seen that, um, the homie Brandon uh, from Blader News did this. He did an unboxing. He got us all juiced about what it was going to be. And then he had like four or five different uh, boxes to open. So I have an, another box. Before I get to my standard Omni, I have another box that I've been looking to open up for probably like a week. But truth is, I ordered this product like maybe like two years ago. Just thinking on a whim that it might be a good product to have. It might be something cool to, you know, just own something new, innovative. And like since it came out, other products like it has dropped. And so it's not as innovative as it once was. It's probably a little bit just whatevs now. But it finally came. You know how things go on Kickstarter. You get it and then it comes like whenever it's going to come. So this finally came. I had to bother the company to get it. So... Shout out to your customer service needs to improve. But overall, once you finally connected with me, I got this product in my hands and I want to open it up. It is the Bang Proof. Bang Proof helmet. Now you're going to look at me and say, but I looked this up and this is not ready for game time on the streets. No, this is a helmet that is designed for water sports. They made it on Kickstarter as a option for those who are fashion conscious about their helmets, want to be safe, want to look good, predominantly in water sports like wakeboarding and all kinds of like getting towed by boat hella fast, you might hit your head in the water. So they make a bucket hat and they make a brimmed like normal cap. And so without further ado, I did not order the bucket hat because I don't really rock bucket hats. But I did order the brimmed cap, and I swear it was like in 2020 or something. I've ordered a couple helmets on Kickstarter that have never come. Park and something else was one of them. It's like a foldable bike helmet. That never, ever got made. I lost my money on that. I just kind of assumed I was going to lose my money on this one right here. And they put a box in a box, which that did not make this at all easier. Um, so I'm going to just get in there. But I assumed this was never coming, and it did. And it actually took a little bit of work to get here. And I'm gonna tear this box open, trying to get to it. And I'm not even sure it's the one that I ordered, but we'll see. Ooh, but it is nice. All right, without further ado. Whoa, okay. Nice little sticker in there. Thank you, Bang Proof. 
This is the Bang Proof Helmet Hat. And I'm gonna be honest, on first, like, it's heavy, but not solid. Like, look at that. It, like, folds in on itself. It's got this material on the inside that you can see, which is pretty cool. I think it actually all comes apart, and you can actually see what these layers are. They're like this, like, foam that they created, the high-density foam, but it's in a shape that can be custom to be round. Um... It's a snapback hat, which is cute, because I don't really know, given the extra large size that I got, whether I'd ever use it as a snapback. And then the straps are like a riding helmet over here on the sides. But let's see. Let's let the hair down. Let's see what happens. I've been wanting to try this out for a long time. I hope that... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh... So the idea here is that A, it fits. And you know me at helmets. If they don't fit, there's really like no point to them. And I'm kind of, all right, it's over here. These things, you know, they always make them a challenge to pop this little, I'll probably have to take it off to do it. But at first glance, it looked like them goofy big helmets that people be wearing nowadays. Like the goofy big, like hat, like the goofy hat. It kind of looked like that. I'm like, even with the brim rounded, I don't even... It, ooh. It's a little uncomfortable immediately in the front. Where, like, right here you can see it. This beautiful liner doesn't actually cover the whole inside of the helmet. Sorry for the, the natural blur that's happening. But it doesn't, like... And it's got a really hard edge. And I'm basically feeling... This whole edge underneath, because that doesn't fully cover it. So I'm feeling that edge is pretty clunky all around. Um, hmm. Is it better than the helmets I normally rock? I don't know that I could say that. I hate having to set these up, I swear. They make helmet straps, like, especially this part right here, like, the hardest thing. There you go. And then you got, like, Loosen it, but like I don't even never really know. I've had a million helmets. There we go. All right, let's see. All right, I mean, uh, what y'all think? Hit me up in the comments. These don't feel right. It's kind of painful in the front here. It feel. I feel every one of these plates on my head. Hmm. Mm, I don't know, y'all. I'm going to be honest. Shout outs to Ennui. Y'all did this better. Uh, the Ennui helmet is by far a better product than this. Um, and it's rated for the streets. Ennui, can you make my size, please? Shout outs to the folks at Power Slide, the Ennui developers. Make a big size like this. And I'm pretty sure I would rock your helmet again. My only beef was that I couldn't fit it before. This has space. See, like you can see, it has space. I probably could have maybe sized down a little bit. I'm not sure they had me measure my head, but maybe that's why I got a snap back in the back. And so I could, no, that don't do nothing. Like I thought, that don't, that's just there for show. Um, hmm, bang proof. We're going to wait for another review on this. Bang proof baseball like helmet because this whole structure inside i can feel every part of it i can feel every one of these seams like i mean like look at it i mean like that's really what i'm rocking so if you wanted to see the technology behind bang proof um and this took like four years to come out and it's not rated for the streets so hmm i don't know I don't know. I think that might have been a Kickstarter miss on my part. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is an extra large. Once again, Ennui, if you could put something together for the people with big heads, that would be really helpful. This is really just a skin. I'm like, I might try to just throw this skin over one of my other helmets because it is really just like a big hat with straps. Like, I wonder if you just throw this... This, like I told you, it looked like one of them big, goofy helm hats. If you just throw this over 
I don't know. I don't know. The hat's nice. Material on the hat is nice. I, don't, I hate when hats have this stitching problem right here and it forces them to buckle and gather. But, you know. Hmm. All right. I've been waiting for that helmet for a long time and that was a, that was a letdown. I'm going to be 100% honest. I had to call them out after I saw their products were for sale online and they still hadn't like fulfilled my Kickstarter initial pledge. And so, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. That's, um, that is not the main star of today. We'll say that for guaranteed. That is not the star. Thank you, Bangproof, for giving me this helmet. Thank you for Bangproof for trying to create something different and unique within the helmets and the range of helmets. I just don't think you nailed it with that one. Maybe your second designs. Hopefully you still keep going, you get supported, and you make one that's street ready. That'd be pretty cool too. But for now, thank you, Bang Proof. Tossing you to the side for the main attraction. If you've been watching the channel, you know that I did a great exodus in 2023 where I tried like six different pairs of skates, the blank, the adapt, the blank again, and then the, the Monswe and the seven. All right, so five skates. I tried five different skates. Oh, and then I went back to my J-Boss and that was good. And actually at the end of the year, if you watched my Fruit Tech edit, I was on some John from 2023 jams. So I did skate seven skates last year. And the whole time I've been talking to the homie Lawrence about what he was building with the brand called Standard. Boom. And he's been telling me all about what he was designing, a little bit of why, some of the products that he looked at to inform his design. And we had some wonderful conversations. So if you haven't peeped our review of the blank skate that we did together, I'm pretty sure it was the blank, the USD7 and the Monsway. We did live reviews together. It was super fun and informative because I knew that he was sending me the seven and the Monsway to help me understand what he loved in those skates that he was bringing with him over to Standard and the Omniscape. And just right off top, you open the box, you get that gem right here. The three Midwesters holding it down. What other team you know got three folks straight from the Midwest on their team? Much respect. Came with a dope sticker package. I really like the branding on this. This gem right here is pretty. I really like the overall branding feel. Shout outs to, I think this is you, Brando, for just the, the general feel and brand on it. And as always, shout out to Lawrence. You throw me a little letter on the back, which I totally appreciate. And this one says, thanks for all the love and support. I got you in spades. Don't worry, it's forever. Can't wait to do the follow-up review with you after you get a chance to roll these. So, if you're checking this out, you know this is an unboxing, which means I'm going to skate them. I'm going to do a first impressions, and then after a month or so, I'm going to get with Lawrence, and we're going to talk about it together. And I'm going to give him my honest feedback. You know that about me. I'm real. I'm going to give my honest feedback. So, that's what I got in the box. Plus, a roll-up of what looked like, I mean, this is like for me to go ham on the streets of Oakland. I think Lawrence is trying to get me to get out there and do some postering for him. Because I got one, two. These are all the same? No. Oh, man. I got a bunch of different looks. Thank you, Lawrence. I got a bunch of different pieces. Let's see what I got here. I got the first one. Boom. I'm going to have to iron that out, though. You know what I'm saying? That's that first one with the floating bodies. And then I got another one. Ooh, that's cool. I think this is all you, Brendo, just holding down the, the design aspect. Oh, see, they, they gave me all the looks. I feel like I've seen much of these when we was at Bitter Cold all over the walls and stuff. Oh, see, you've seen that one before. I'm like, do I got a different one than what we've seen? Oh, this one's different. Oh, these are like really just the, the coolest ads. This might have to, this is all gonna have to go in the lab. We're gonna flatten those out, get rid of the wrinkles. Thank you, Lawrence. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put those up somewhere so people understand the standard is not only coming, it is here, and that's why it's such a hype product. All right, without further ado, it's a heavy box. If you don't watch Loco, oh, if you don't watch Loco Skates video review, uh, do go check that out. They list all the weights. They may not think it's crazy important, but I, with bad knees and 
a body of an actual senior citizen almost in the game. I do care about skate weight. And when you look at their video, you see that these weight as much as some skates ante. And they're very close to, um, God, I think it was like a, uh, no, it wasn't the, go check their video out. They got some really good numbers. Overall, I think the lightest skate was way light, the Aeon, but then the other two skates around the Omni were pretty comparable, and one of them was even an anti rocker skate. What did I get? I got a custom, got my name on it. I got a custom, complete, flat, large. I'm a 10 and a half, 11, primarily an 11 these days. Um, and I got the large skate, but I got a custom. I didn't get just the black or just the white really your only two options right so i got a mix obviously i got the panda panda version and here's my first look taking it out the plastic my first look at the omni boot that i have heard about my brother lawrence has been telling me about and i will say just in the hand it looks smaller like literally just in the hand it looks smaller than other boots that i have and that's weird I've seen all the side-by-sides, you know, the heel downs, just compared to a, a them medium or schmedium. Um, but even in the hand, it feels smaller than I expected. I got the black with the white bottoms, uh, standard liner with that tube. Got to see that you got the tube to keep the cuff round. Thank you, Lawrence, for all your honesty throughout this prop. This is, like, small and light. Like, I don't know if you're noticing how I'm just, like, handling this. I'm a 10 and a half, 11. If you were 7, you got a little Troya feet or something like that. Shout out to Jeremy Troya. You got one of those little small feet. This is going to look tiny. Like, for real, though. And it's, it is solid. Like, this is a solid, solid skate. So, I got a full flat set. Comes with a standard, what's that say, 5890 wheel. I like a hard wheel. I like a 60, 60 millimeter, so I'll definitely ride these, give these a test run for a little bit. It is a different profile than the other Chroma and 5050 wheels. This is a round profile, not like a square profile, so interested in that. It comes with some, God, I thought that said GoPro, but I don't know what these bearings say. They are ABEC 9, pretty smooth. Hi. <laughs> You talking to a man who got his own pro bearing, so you know what I mean. It ain't that fruit tech, but um, that's a good bearing. I feel like if it's straight out the box, you got no problems. You got no problems. Solid bearings, and then I got the full set. Oh dang! So wait, hold up. This is a standard wheel, fifty-eight ninety, but I also got a full set because even though you know I love me some CRS frames in my old knees. I done rated them as one of the best frames available. Oh, I see what you did there, Lawrence. I wanted to try the full standard experience so that I could get exactly what you were trying to build, Law, with the frame and the wheels. And I see I wanted a custom black and white wheel combo. And so you threw in the white wheels. I'm wondering, oh, yep, standard for Lawrence's genius. Prop to your genius as always. I can access my frame bolt without taking my wheels off. I think that is important. I'm not getting a really good click. I feel like man, something maybe might be off right there. I don't know. We're going to talk about that after. But usually that would like click in real nice, nice. I guess once I, yeah, once I, hmm. Once I tighten this all up, this is the bottom I was going for. A nice black with the white bottoms make it look like that Aeon, recent Aeon that just came out. You know what I'm saying? Peep that. This is a 270 millimeter frame on a large boot. Um, solid. Solid. Has like this nice little look to it with a bevel edge, similar to other frames, but very different. It holds space for the logo inside. I know it's like white contrast, but it's got a nice space for that logo. You're not going to grind on that logo. Oh, you gave me an anti-rocker set. I see. It's anti-rocker so I could throw these white boys in the middle. Got to have my white wheels to make this full panda effect. Thank you, Lawrence. As with everyone else, as you've heard, multiple 
heel beds in case you need a rise or in case you need that squish versus that hard foam. If you don't understand why there's two different or an additional heel bed, check out Lawrence's video where he breaks it all down. I did. It really helped me to understand why you would want to, not just to raise it up so that you have some extra space, like in case your toes are a little tight, but also so you have like a difference between what is a aggressive need and maybe what is more of a recreational need in terms of your type of skating. So you might need a squishier footbed for a squishier ride. Like if you're just doing miles on some big wheels or some wizardry, but you might need a more substantial or harder. Why did I just say the whole video? Go watch Lawrence's video. He's the genius behind the work. Tie right here, elastic for the liner. I like that. I'm gonna unlace these real quick. Take off my dunks, custom dunks for the day. Dunk by use, cause you know I be fly like that. Okay, bag inside with the tool and the hardware needed for the frame mount. Told you about the toilet paper roll. Lawrence told you about that. They were having some manufacturing challenges early on and the toilet paper roll really helped keep the cuff round. Once again, shout outs to Lawrence for all the transparency in the process this whole way. I had to pull this paper out and that was, that was a hard squeeze. So we gonna see. This is my right foot. This is my bigger of my two feet. I don't know if you like me and you got one foot that's a little bit bigger than the other. Uh, this is my bigger foot and right now, I'm excited. I'm about to put these on my feet. This is the standard fat, beefy tongue, but a low cuff. I don't know if you're noticing this. Sometimes you'll see people put the intuition and the cuff is like way up here or something. This is a low cuff with a beefy, I mean beefy tongue. Let's see, let's see what this feels like. Oh, let's get it on there. Oh man, that is nice and snug. I'm gonna have to really, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why they give you, uh, the straps in the back so you can pull it tight. Get you, uh, oh, there's some work. A brand new skate feeling. Oh Lord. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ooh. So I am like a two, 287 on my right foot in terms of my length of my foot. And then I have a wide foot, like a really, really no arch having just suction cup to the floor foot. And I'm probably the, the use case scenario for the widest feet in blading. And I'll say, okay, I'm trying to feel it out. Let me stand up. Shout outs to Blade Runners back in the day. Still hold it down. Okay, first impressions. This is snug. This is snug in many places. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is snug. This is snug all around. I feel, I've heard snugness in the heel. So definitely got some snug heel action right in the back. Um, let me open up this other boot so I can talk about it while I'm explaining it to you. But it's immediately wearing out. Like that's that brand new, I don't, Y'all know I don't really, I skate adapt, so I have an aligner, it's way different. But this is that, like I can feel it, as soon as I put it on, it's starting to give a little bit, but I, right here, right in the back of the heel, this area, I feel, I feel tightness, which is probably to keep the heel lift from happening, right? I think we've heard a lot about that. Rigid cuff, I've heard a lot about that. I feel that, I feel the rigid cuff. I like a rigid cuff. I do feel the V, you know, maybe not the deep V, but a wide cut back here. I feel that flex in the back. I can do that. Toes, my toes, a little tight in the toes right here in this area, but I can wiggle and there's no bunion pain. I think I posted something on IG about having volo foot because I tried to squeeze and downsize my volos for years and it gave me just horrible pain in my foot that I deal with for the rest of my life. We've all done it for skates, right? So I don't feel that pain. I don't have any bunion pain across the top right here. No, nothing except for stiffness up here. I don't feel like, I mean, we, no 45 degree strap. Lawrence and I talked about this. I don't feel like I'm gonna miss it. 
I don't feel like it would offer anything. This is pretty rigid, and I don't have it laced. I don't have the cuff even buckled. There we go. Ooh, yeah, new liners. They are cushy. Those are big liners. I could totally see how people are putting intuitions and trying to downsize a little bit. I couldn't do that. Um, I, there's no way I could go down a size. I'm pretty much right at the edge as a 287. I got wiggle room, but I'm right up top, like right there. But wow, these are solid to the foot. The look down is nice. So interesting to look down at the white heel sticking straight out like that, you know? It's a wide heel, so you see it on the look down. I'm sure I'll get used to it. But yeah, if I don't, I mean, I'll make it black, right? But yeah, this is, this is nice. This is not the letdown that the Bang Proof Helmet provided me earlier, no. This is nice. I can feel, you know, a little something going on right here as I lean forward. All of this is to be expected for a brand new skate, something that has never been tested or touched before. No liner that hasn't been broken in at all. I definitely feel like I could go out and skate. I might get a little contraction pain across the middle of my foot because I can feel a squeeze. Yeah, I can feel a squeeze. The best way to show it is under here because that's where the, the squeeze is. I can feel a little squeeze happening right in the midline of my foot from maybe these two sides pushing in. Might try some other liners to see if that if that goes away. But I'm excited to try these. I am very excited. Thank you, shout outs to Lawrence, Balance Distribution. You hooked me up, brother. I appreciate you. I'm going to flex on these. Please believe, I'm gonna smash. I'm gonna get out there. We got some sunny days coming up, hopefully. It's been raining in the Bay, which is also mood contagion. I don't really like the rain because it keeps me from winning. And getting out and skating so hopefully we get a nice long break in the rain so i can get out there put some some real wear on these i'm definitely excited about trying these frames so be on the lookout all my viewers i might do a giveaway for these frames afterwards because i do plan on skating my crs frames because my knees they just ache for it um i do know that these are different than the balance frames these definitely have a more i would say like Slimmer profile, less advancements, no speed, you know, divots on the side, no single Allen key system like the balance frames do. So this is definitely a standard basic frame. So for those who are wondering why do another frame, why not just throw a balance 50-50 frame? This is an entry level frame. This is really nice. This is similar to like a youth frame or a ground control frame that you would get on an SL or a different razor skate. Smart move entry level frame not a lot of bells and whistles but a really nice groove i'm gonna get down on this i'm looking at that profile looks a little shorter than the balance opening right there i can get like 100 fingers inside i think the balance this is only a two finger ish groove so it's gonna be tight so for those of you doing royales in this you have to really get over excited oh i'm juiced i can feel this warming up i'm gonna definitely heat mode these boots Get some things going. Thank y'all for joining in. Definitely more videos to come. I got a review of the John Fromm's coming out. So I skated those for a month. I might just toss in the balance two frame in there with it. I'm going to watch some of these new videos that dropped with y'all with some live reactions because I haven't seen a bunch of videos and I'm excited to watch them. I've been holding off just so I could watch them and give y'all some live point of view, how it looked like if you were sitting in the, in the house with me and we was watching them together. So do look forward. I think I'm gonna start with the Nils one that just dropped because Nils is on fire. Uh, after that Winter Clash performance, I caught that victory. I'm happy for you, Nils. So stay tuned, more to come. The setup is here. I think I got this. Peace and love as always. Tap in, make sure you skate safe so you can skate forever. Peace, y'all.